you raised money at uh, uh, during a period of time when money is not so easy to come by, much more difficult to come by than it was 12, uh, 18 months ago. What would be your advice to other founders out there watching this about raising money in the current climate? No, I, you're in luck because I gave an interview about this exact question last week in, in the <laughs> Belgian, uh, to a Belgian journalist. Um, but my advice is, you know, don't get yourself. It is harder. Like if it, I think be, be managing your own expectation is the best thing you can do for yourself. So I would just say it's, it's not fair. I think that that's something you should know. Like, it's not fair. Like, oh, I should have raised three years ago because this is way harder. It's not fair. No, it is not fair. And once you come to terms with that, you become much more grounded. Um, of course, that's not really a tip. It's more about mindset that helped us through it because I had also raced in the, in let's say the golden times when people would practically chuck money at you if you just said software and startup. Um, what really helped me is the fact that Alex is such a superstar, like my, my co-founder, like he, it's a tough lesson to learn, but, but obviously every company I think merits, you know, there's a lot of great single founder companies there, but having a founder team has helped us a lot because Alex and I are very complimentary. Uh, but I've, you know, if, if as a founder, I would say, make sure that at least that you are very, very, you know, that you can prove to investors that you're complimentary and that you are, are, you know, are well versed in your craft. Um, be honest and straightforward about that. And then it's all about validation outside of the company. That has been 99% of why we were able to raise money, I think. It's not about me telling them how great Revent is or not even telling uh, Alex tax story, even though that was great for setting up the conversation. It was then those slides that I had about, okay, and this is the CEO of that company who wants to try it. And this is a letter of intent. And these are our user numbers. And this is like, we're not crazy. The market actually wants that. And every, every bit of information or every bit of proof that you can foster there gives investors who are now much more careful and rightly so, it gives them a reason to say, hey, this money is going to make more money because obviously there's a demand. Obviously there's a problem there. Um, and that ties into, I think the third tip I would give is be prepared to be very frugal and be proactive about your frugality. Don't in this time, it's hard to raise money because people find it hard to give money to a project and then potentially losing it all, which happens all the time in startups and the, 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 the chance of success are very low, which is so, so if you can say, listen, we're, we're going to be frugal until we get to that point where we know we've built something people want to pay for, and then we're going to spend what we earn and not just spend the money you've given us. That's, that's been very instrumental, I think also in making us an attractive investment. So Alex and I, we pay ourselves a salary that we, uh, so it's, it's not that li like we're frugal uh, when my kids can't eat. That's not the kind of frugality I'm talking about, but it's about not having the most flashy office from day one, not spending a fortune on new gadgets and no new materials. If your old laptop still does its job, like I'm working on a 2015 laptop. Sometimes I curse at it. Sometimes I want to throw it out of the window, but it's fine. 99% of the time it's, it's about making like being a little bit scroogey about every dollar you spend until you know that every dollar you spend brings in three more and that also ties back to what I told you about team. So obviously it's inspired because we want to make our people better, but it's also because we have that frugal mindset. Like I could hire some people for marketing and sales and make my life a lot easier, but it's a gamble right now because we haven't unlocked that magic formula where we know this is exactly the person we want to help. Um, so, so to, to sum up, change your mindset. It's going to be hard and it's good that you know that, um, make sure you have validation outside of the market. Um, be frugal or at least tell people how you're going to spend their money, how you're careful with the money. And then I think the fourth point I made was if your team is complimentary, that's something that investors, in my opinion, love to see now because they want to, they say that they're risk investors, but they want to de-risk as much as possible. And if they see, okay, this, this 
person really loves sales, this person really loves product, and they have a track record to prove it, great. And if you don't have a track record to prove it, if you're a first-time founder, it might be a little bit harder now, I think even harder than what we have come through, but then the validation from the market part should be your main concern. 